Do you know how to make a circuit work? Do you know what the circuit is? I'll explain it and more on this video. A circuit is passed of wires, electrons, devices, and even other circuits, allowing electrons to flow in a circle. Circuits can be from as simple as a motor attached to a battery and switch, to as complicated as a motherboard on your computer, complete with peripherals. Do you know how to draw a circuit diagram? If you do, that's good. But if you don't, I'll show you how. As you can see here, these are symbols that you have to use for a proper circuit diagram. You have to use these symbols for a circuit diagram. You also have to use a proper wire layout. You cannot just stick with the layout that looks fancy, nor can you go with the layout that is messed up. A friend of mine asked an entire class to draw circuit diagrams. 28 people tried to draw it, but only four of them actually got it right. Some drew the right layout but the wrong symbols. Some wrong layout, right symbols. Others, both layout and symbols, wrong. But one diagram caught my eye and it had the right layout and most of the right symbols. But the light bulb had been replaced by Frankenstein's head. I don't blame you though, it's not every day when people turn on a half dead zombie and figured it out. Do you know how to make a light bulb work? Asked a couple of people to draw their versions of their circuit diagrams to show how a light bulb works. I got the images on my cell phone. Let's see what these guys came up with based on their circuit diagram ideas. Okay, this seems weird. He used the proper symbols, but what the heck is with this messy wire? And this seems a bit incomplete. Now, well, let's see if it turns on. Predictably, it doesn't turn on at all. Now, let's see what the other one looks like. Impressive! This is a very good circuit. Right layout, right symbols, looks like a typical circuit. I'll bet you 10 bucks this will work. It works. Relax, you don't have to pay me money. You and I know for a fact that it works without a hitch. A student asked me recently, is there more than one type of circuit out there? Well, the answer is yes. There's another type of circuit called the parallel circuit. It is, in essence, two circuits in one. In other words, you get two circuits for the price of one. You'd probably be wondering by now, how does the circuit work? Well, I'll show you. How a circuit works is really simple. Electricity travels from the positive side of the source, such as the battery, into the device and out of the device back into the negative side of the source. Yellow. In your house? How many? Yeah, you can find it everywhere. I'll tell you later. Bye. That was another student. He called me and asked me that he was wondering where he could find a circuit in his house. Well, everywhere. Your toaster, it's a circuit. Your vacuum cleaner, circuit. Your air conditioning heating, well, it's a circuit. Your computer, it's a circuit. One big complicated circuit which happens to figure out 4 to the power of 10 times 22 in less than a second. Your house's electricity is a circuit. Electricity travels from your power plant through hundreds of kilometers of wiring through your transformer box, into your house's wiring, into the outlet, into whatever's plugged in there, and back through all that entire route again. Remember those wires in the circuit? Despite the fancy cover and those contact points, they are just made of two things, a conductor and an insulator. Conductors allow the electricity to flow through and the insulators prevent other unwanted circuits from flowing from interrupting. Do you know why only conductors allow electricity to flow? It's because conductors allow energy to flow, and insulators don't. Conductors transmit heat and sound, and insulators usually don't. So, if something that can transmit heat and sound, it's likely to transmit electricity. Metal can transmit energy, but plastic can't. So, metal is a conductor, but plastic is not a conductor. 
A student from Brampton asked me how to make a wire. It's real simple. Get a conductor, anything made of metal will work, preferably copper wire or aluminum foil. Thin it into wire if you can or if you need to, and cover it with insulation. Leave a centimeter or so open at each end for contact points. Recently, a student looking up circuits asked me how complicated circuits can be. Well, the answer is as complicated as you want. The computer is an ultra complex mass of metal and silicone, and a simple room light is the exact opposite. But they're both circuits. So, a circuit can be as complicated as rocket science to as simple as adding 1 plus 1. Try to guess what the biggest circuit in the world is. It is so complicated that it will take forever to draw a diagram of it. But we use this massive circuit every day. This circuit connects the world all over from Spain to Russia, Manila to New Delhi. The Opera Towers to the CN Tower. You get the idea. That huge circuit is well known today as the internet. Even the internet is just one big circuit. As you can see, circuits are reused in the world all over. We have circuits every day. Every time we turn something with power on. There are many circuits in your home, in your car, all over the world. Even right now, we're using a circuit just by watching this video. Circuits are so simple that we take for granted, but the truth is, the circuit is one of the things that we use in our everyday lives.